Israel has consistently been at the forefront of technological and scientific research and development. From inventions like the flash drive to drip irrigation to the famous Iron Dome missile system, the Jewish state uses its technological innovations to stay relevant in a rapidly changing environment. Joining me to discuss Israel's role in the world as well as some new and exciting technologies is Likud Knesset member and Minister of Science, Technology and Space, Ophira Kunis. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, thank you for inviting me. So let's start with the big news. But as on everybody's mind, not only in the United States, but here in Israel, is the new Trump administration beginning tomorrow. How do you see American-Israeli relations changing, not only uh, generally, but with respect to science and technology? First of all, I want to congratulate the uh, new uh, Trump administration. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a new beginning. Uh, as you know, in the uh, past eight years, uh, usually the um, relationship between Israel and the United States are very good and very strong. But from time to time, we can find some uh, differences, especially about uh, um, the negotiation with the Palestinians and, and some more American initiative. Uh, and now, I hope that the new administration, I, I uh, read uh, and I saw that the new administration, most of the seniors in the new administration, like me, are against the two-state solution, against the uh, um, uh, establishment of a Palestinian state in the heart of the ancient land of Israel, Judea and Samaria. And I'm very happy. And of course, all of us, we are looking, uh, we are looking forward to see the new uh, embassy of the United States uh, in her new home in Jerusalem. All right. Well, you, you've spoken out against last week's Paris Peace Conference. was yeah. also on big news everywhere. What were your issues with, you know, the French summit? And how is Israeli research and development, in your opinion, going to be able to be used to, to mm -hmm. bring peace in this region? It's actually two different questions. Yeah. Uh, first, about the Paris summit. I think that it's wrong that 70 minister, min, uh, ministers of foreign affairs uh, uh, flew to Paris and, uh, and uh, say to Israel from there, to withdraw from Judea and Samaria and to establish a, 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 a Palestinian state. And that was the, uh, the, the, um, the idea of the Paris summit. If the uh, ministers and their administration want uh, to bring peace to the Middle East, they should pressure the other side, the Palestinians, to come to the negotia negotiation table and to solve the problem around the table. What they did in the, in the beginning of the week, uh, uh, I think it was on Sunday in Paris, they, you know, it was, it's very uh, easy to the Palestinians to sit and wait. What will they say in Paris? Israel must withdraw from Judea and Samaria and uh, we will support the, uh, the Palestinian state, but only, you know, without the Israel uh, with the, uh, uh, opinion. And we are against it. So it was wrong idea uh, in this whole formula in Paris. Uh, the second part of, the, of your question, I think that, you know, all over the world, especially in the Far East, everybody wants Israeli, uh, the, uh, the Israeli minds, uh, the technologies, uh, the innovation. They want to cooperate with Israel. I, you know, I um, just came from India. Uh, and I heard from uh, the um, Indian Minister of uh, Science and Technology the unbelievable sentence like, we want to learn from you how to be a high-tech nation. It's, it's, it's fabulous. By the way, it happens in, in, in South Korea, it happened in China, all over. So if someone wants to cooperate here in the Middle East, states like, you know, even the Palestinians, uh, or Jordan, Egypt, other, other states, they want to cooperate with Israel. Um, I, we want it, but uh, most of them, and especially the Palestinians, must recognize, uh, first of all, the existence of Israel and the abilities of Israel. And if they want it, okay, our doors are open. Great. Now, according to the World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Report from 2016 to 17, Israel ranks second in innovation uh, yeah. worldwide, which is a very big deal for such a small country as you're we right, all know. You're absolutely right. um, so, what, as you know, in your position, what have you seen that makes Israel so successful? First of all, the ideas that uh, you know, the the startups 
the innovation that comes from Israel. Uh, we, I think we are number two after Switzerland in this, uh, in, in the list Correct. that you uh, quote. Uh, I think that we are more than, with all the respect to Switzerland, uh, we are much more than Switzerland because as you, as you said, we are a very small country. But in the last uh, 25 years, or something like 25 and 30 years, the startups, the innovation that starts here, starts here from our great minds is, you know, is all over the world. And th this is the, the, um, the reason that we are number two in, the, um, in, the, in that list that you quote from. Uh, first of all, it's the minds. Second, it's the government, uh, including uh, uh, my ministry, uh, support especially the R&Ds. The R&Ds, not the private section, because we think that the private section is no, uh, there is a huge uh, success to the private sections without uh, the government. But the R&Ds, the roots, the roots to the, to the um, Israeli technologies and to, to, the Israeli, uh, to the Israeli innovation is all over the R&Ds, from Kiryat Shmona, from the Upper Galilee in the north, uh, even to a lot in the south. And uh, of course, this, this year is the peak of the, of the uh, governmental budget to the R&Ds and of course our students. I am talking about before students in the universities and the institutes, the pupils in the schools, in primary schools, we support them with a lot of activities, with a lot of money, billions of shekels, uh, minist the Ministry of uh, Science and Technology and the Ministry of Education and other ministries. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Minister Akunis. Thank you for inviting me. Very interesting me. to learn about this, and hopefully we'll have you back again. Thank you very much.